with our new outlines in place, let's look at how we can recombine everything back together to give us our final cell shade with edges. So let's have a quick look in here. I'm going to close Viper for now because it's, well, it's not really doing much um, thanks to, of course, their lack of support for UVs. Okay, we're getting some it's getting pretty messy in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Options button in Node Editor. I'm going to enable the Disable Previews just to hide those spheres. It gives me a little more space by just hiding these things down. There we go. Let's uh, compress down or collapse some of these down. So this is the thing that generates our outlines up here. We could give those names if we wanted to, like we gave names down here. Let's bring our color swatch back up. This is our UV map that has all the colors of our cell shaded character. So let's bring these down. Connect its color back to its color. So let's get our color back. And if I do a quick test render, you see our color, our basic cell shade, but no outlines. So what we can do, just to make this pretty straightforward and pretty easy, is we were to take the we we'll take this cell shade and we we're to multiply it by the black and the white for the outlines. We should be able to just plug it straight back into luminosity. Okay, so unfold that and that. I'm going to rename this so I know what it is. So this is the uh, outline gem, we'll call it. Let's add a node. And let's add a math node. Scalar node because this is a percentage between 0 and 100% luminosity. And I want to use a multiply node. So, what this is going to do is let's take the cell shading color or shade in V, our, oops, our color, which is our black and white outlines to here. So, the white is where we want 100%, black is nothing. So, we multiply black or nothing by the cell shade, we're going to get black. Let's take the result of those two. So we're taking the cell shading. We're multiplying it by the lines. Lines on, lines off, basically. And we'll take the result of that multiply and feed that into luminosity. If we now do a test render, there you go. We've got our cell shade. And then we've also got our black outlines running around things. So not a bad little node setup if you ask me.